Good morning. This is the Global Stock Investor Show. Welcome, Global Investors. Uh, today, I'll be going over primary dealers with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. This is part three. Um, what I've been showing you guys is pretty much the primary dealer. If you guys want to look over what a primary dealer is, here it is. Wikipedia, you can go over it, read it. Um, as you can see, the current primary dealers with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, I'm pretty much breaking these companies down. So uh, a lot of these companies, um, they go by different names or in their different countries. So like this NatWest Market Securities, that's the Royal Bank of Scotland, as you can see. So don't get thrown off when you see, you know, when you see these names, pretty much you got to dig a little deeper to find out, you know, what the what the actual bank is. So that's the Royal Bank of Scotland right there. So that's a primary dealer. So I'll show you guys that. But before I jump into it, pretty much this is what the market is. Ooh, look at this. I haven't seen the top in a minute. Look how high. I mean, uh, I'm up. Uh, three point five five percent, which is about almost two hundred dollars. I mean, I'm happy. Um, pretty much okay. My ratio for last last year was uh, I'm playing the ratio game because I'm I'm uh, I'm understanding now like that's the only way you're gonna grow is learning setting the right ratio. So pretty much my twenty eighteen ratio plus it was my first year investing was uh, ninety eight percent stocks, two percent index funds and then this year for 2019 um totally different i'm pretty much going to portfolio ratio mentality so for this year um my ratio for 2019 is 60 percent stocks 30 percent index funds five percent bonds etf and then five percent reits which is real estate investment trust. So that's my that's pretty much my strategy for 2019. And uh, I'm going to go from there and show you my journey with that uh, portfolio ratio that I'm practicing this year. And what what I'm doing is investing $1,000 a month. So pretty much with that $1,000, the way I'm going to invest it into the market is 600 of that is going into stocks. $300 of that is going into index funds. $50 is going to bonds ETF and another $50, $50 is going into uh, REIT REITs. So that's pretty much my strategy for this year. I'm pumped. Um, I'm out here in uh, Colombia, South America until the 4th of February. So I pretty much I'm on countdown. So pretty much I got uh, four days left. So I'll be back in Cali. So pretty much I'll be Cali to Cali for y'all those that know Cali, Colombia to California, West Side. Um, I'll be back over there and pretty much going back to school to become a filmmaker out there. So anybody out there in the San Francisco area, uh, get at me, message me, comment me. Um, I'm, I'm down for whatever. You know, this year I'm just down to let loose, um, shedding the skin or this this shell that I've been carrying like a ninja turtle. So pretty much, <laughs> uh, I'm going all in. And then, um, pretty much my portfolio over here. These are all stocks. There's like one, uh, two index funds. I think I got uh, also two REITs. So, but the majority of my uh, portfolio. Oh, let me get out of that. The majority of my portfolio is stock, so it's like ninety, yeah, ninety six percent stocks, two percent um, REITs, and then another two percent uh, index funds. So as as you can see, I'm heavy in uh, tech, um, Google, Netflix, uh, defense contracting. That's a uh, Lockheed Martin. Uh, this is insurance. This is uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, 3M is a conglomerate. McDonald's, Badu, that's a Chinese uh, company. They're pretty much they're the uh, the uh, 
the the bad dude. They're like they're the Google of China, Facebook, Apple, Nvidia, Visa, Financial. I'm pretty much with Visa with the financial sector. I'm still I'm almost close to it after I get done with the primary dealers with the Federal Reserve Bank, uh, Federal Bank of New York. Pretty much the financial sector is pretty interesting because there's the FICO company, Mastercard, Discover, uh, Financial. There's there's a bunch of companies that um, a lot of people skip over. Moody's. Um, they're pretty much an agency overlooking the stock market. So these companies, a lot of people don't talk about, but I'm I'm diving deep into these companies. So it's just not like people are going crazy over Nvidia, Facebook. You know, and that's why um, when I first jumped on, yeah, I, yo, I commend these guys for investing because there's a lot of people out in the world. They're not even, they're so afraid of this. And it's just like, and I was one of them. So now that I'm building up my courage you know, day by day, um, I just want, you know, other people out there to start investing and sharing stories. It's just more motivating. So I just, uh, what I do during the day for an hour is just look at other YouTubers uh, that are Robin Hood investors, since I'm a Robin Hood investor, and I just w watch how they, um, pretty much how they invest. But a lot of them, like I've noticed, like they'll have like probably like uh, ten companies, but they'll have like with uh, Netflix, they'll have like five shares. McDonald's, they'll have like twenty shares. Facebook, they'll have like thirteen shares. I mean, they'll put all. They put all of their money into a company and try to build that way. But my thing is they're, they don't even have a foundation or they don't have any pillars or supports to hold up hold up their house. So pretty much what I'm doing, I'm building my house. I'm building the foundation. So, you know, you see a lot of one shares, but pretty much I want to see how it works through the year and what the dividends pay for each company and the growth. So pretty much I'm building my foundation and my structures. And then later, once I get when I, once I get about five hundred stocks, then I'll start. Um, then I'll start um, doubling up. But you see these two doubles. I mean, this is when I first started out. I had that mentality. Uh, Nike, uh, Sony, and Coca Cola. These were the three companies that I, I went all in. Um, I went all in at and. Pretty much, I just started to pretty much philosophize, ph philosophize the way I'm gonna strategize how to how to pretty much how to how to build my portfolio. And I've noticed now the game is a ratios game. So a lot of people out there they're just in the wind. They're they're high off stocks. They're high off stocks. Um, And pretty much, they're high off stocks, and they pretty much they're either high off stocks or high off index funds. And me, what I've noticed is you got to combine, you got to mesh, you got to mesh them all up. Like you got stocks that are high volatile, you have index funds that's gonna pretty much they're they're the stronger they're the stronger factor in the market, which is gonna keep you afloat in a down market. Um, then you have. Um, REITs where where are, they pay monthly dividends that I've noticed nice monthly dividends and then uh, bonds ETF pretty much to keep you safe keep that keep that balance you know that one percent two percent three percent with your money even in the down market and pretty much what I'm doing is seeing how this ratio works out this year so and this is gonna be my journey on that but um, it just seems a little boring to me now because I'm just going over sectors, but pretty much it's teaching about other companies that are out there. Uh, but once I get done with all the sectors, I'm going to start broadcasting like uh, real time, like how I'm really looking at the market instead of just going over the sectors. But I'm doing everything from the bottom up. You know, I'm not taking any shortcuts. I'm walking the path like day by day, daily walks. So this is like daily. This is my daily walk. You know, they, it ain't no get rich quick schemes and stuff like that that I was so used. To. I, that's what I was brought up on is quick, quick schemes to get rich. And, you know, nobody never taught me like, you know, to go ahead. If you want to get that way, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. There's no there's no way getting around it. 
you know, you got to put in the work. And then it's just like, you know, I was just thinking about today, like uh, working out, like I have my ratio. Like I started looking at my workout today, like um, at the gym, I'm trying to hit four miles. And what I did was, um, this is on the treadmill. Well, I sp the first 30 minutes um, I walk and then um, the second the second half I run. So now what I did, I, extend, I changed my ratio to where I'm walking, warming up for 20 and then for 40 minutes, I start jogging. So to get to hit that four mile, because I was short, I hit 3.83. So my goal is to hit four miles. So I noticed like I have to change my ratio to hit my goal. And I noticed, okay, that will work in, in that aspect and help, you know, in, in, in the weights and, and getting stronger and bigger. Also in my how I invest in the, the stock market same concept I was like okay I got to change my ratio because I was I just 98 percent stocks you know and that's why that's why you see this this hit right here is so low you know negative because I don't have there's no I don't have any index funds no REITs or no bonds to help it stay afloat so that's why it it hit like that because um um, eight ninety eight percent stocks my portfolio, so it's so volatile. I, I took a hit with the market, but uh, but this year, um, whether it's good or bad, um, I want to I want to see how I'm able to stay afloat with you know the thirty my allocating sixty percent stocks, thirty percent index funds, um, five percent uh, bonds ETF, and then five percent REITs, and then just build that way. So I'm gonna see if. This is a, f a new formula for me to start. Um, well, it is already in practice. So, um, and my goal is to invest a thousand a month, and I've I already got it broken down for this year. So, pretty much, uh, that's my strategy for 2019. Let's jump into it. This is primary dealers with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, Part Three. The first company, the first primary dealer is J.P. Morgan Chase. Okay, as you can see, the five-year, beautiful upward trend, um, peaked um, at $117.85 on, on September 21st, 2018. Current market price, $102.94. About JP, JP Morgan Chase and Company, also called JP Morgan Chase, is a financial holding company which provides financial and investment banking services. It offers a range of investment banking products and services in all capital markets, including advising on corporate strategy and structure, capital raising in equity and debt debt market, sophisticated risk management market making in cash securities and derivative instruments and prime brokerage and research. It operates its business through the following segments, consumer and community banking, corporate and investment bank, commercial banking and asset and wealth management. The consumer and community banking segment serves consumers and businesses through personal service at bank branches and through automated teller machine, online, mobile, and telephone banking. The corporate and investment banking segment offers a suit of investment banking, market making, prime brokerage and treasury and security products and services to a global client base of corporations, investors, financial institutions, government, and municipal entities. The commercial banking segment delivers services to U.S. and its multinational clients, including corporations, muni municipalities, financial institutions, and nonprofit entities. It also provides financing to real estate investors and owner owners as well as financial solutions, including lending, treasury services, investment banking, and asset management. The asset and wealth management segment provides asset and wealth management services. It offers investment management across all major asset services, including equities, fixed incomes, alternative, and money market funds. The company was founded in 1968 and is headquartered in New York City, New York. The current CEO is Jamie Diamond. Employees 200 and 
256,539. Headquarters, New York City, New York, founded in 1968. Market cap, 342.03 billion. High cap, uh, dip, uh, price PE ratio, 11.46. Dividend yield, 2.79. Buy 50%, hold 47%, those two together, more than 75%. The second primary dealer is Citigroup. Look at the five year, nice. Upward trend, uh, peaked at $80.08 on January 26, 2018. Current market price is $63.81. About Citigroup Incorporated, also called Citigroup, is a holding company which engages in the provision of financial products and services. It operates through the following segments. Global Consumer Banking, Institutional Clients Group, and Corporate, and other. The global consumer banking segment provides traditional banking services to retail customers through retail banking, including commercial banking and city branded cards and city retail services. The institutional clients group segment provides corporate, institutional, public sector, and high net worth clients around the world with a full range of wholesale banking products and services. The segment includes fixed income and equity sales and trading foreign exchange, prime brokerage, derivative services, equity and fixed income research, corporate lending, investment banking and advisory services, private banking, cash management, trade finance and securities services. The corporate and other segment includes certain unallocated costs of global staff functions, other corporate expenses and unallocated global operations and technology expenses, corporate treasury, certain North America and international legacy consumer loan portfolios, other legacy assets, and discontinued operations. The company was founded in 1812 and is headquartered in New York City, New York. The current CEO is Michael Lewis Corbett, employees 209,000. 209, Headquarters, New York City, New York, founded in 1812, been around Market cap, $152.11 billion. That's high cap. Dividend yield, uh, P.E. ratio, 9.55. Dividend yield, 2.96. Buy 76%. Hold 21%. Those two together, more than 75%. The third primary dealer is BNP. Part of us. Uh, the, this company is pretty much, uh, it's not, I don't know about the other brokerage platforms, but this bank is pretty much um, a bank in Paris. So I already got this ready to go. Uh, PNB Paribas SA is a French international banking group. It is the world's eighth largest bank by total assets and currently operates with a presence in 77 countries. Uh, pretty much, let me refresh this. Okay. As you can see, um, one share of BMP Paribas SA is, uh, this is in euros, so 40.992 euros. So that's about, say like 40, that's in uh, dollars. One share is $47. So as you can see, I mean, it's really the time to, to buy a share of, of them, but they are located in, as you can see, Paris, Paris, France. So, but they are primary dealer with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. So pretty much, they they're dedicated to European buyers. Okay, the fourth primary de dealer is HSBC. Okay, let's look at the five year. As you can see, uh, after the dip kind of increased, uh, this was the um, the peak at fifty five dollars and thirty six cents. 
on January 19, 2018. Uh, currently in the bear market, uh, market price $41.86. Uh, I bought a share at $42.23. Currently, it's worth my equity in it is worth $41.86, which I'm down uh, 37 cents. About HSBC Holdings PLC engages in the provision of banking and financial services. It operates through the following segments retail banking and wealth management, commercial banking. Global Banking and Markets, Global Private Banking, and Corporate Century. The Retail Banking and Wealth Management segment consists of Retail Banking, Wealth Management, Asset Management, and Insurance. The Commercial Banking segment offers banking products and services. The, the Global Banking and Markets segment includes Transactions, Banking, Financing, Advisory, Capital Markets, and Risk Management Services. The Global Private Banking, banking offers Transaction, Banking, Financing, advisory, capital markets, and risk management service to high net worth individuals and families. The corporate century segment is comprises of central treasury, including balance sheet management, other legacy businesses, interest in associates, and joint ventures, central stewardship costs, and the UK bank levy. The company was founded on January 1st, 1959, and is headquartered in London, the UK the United Kingdom the current CEO is John M Flint employees 228,687 headquarters London England founded in 1959 market cap 169.31 billion high cap uh, PE ratio 15.49 dividend yield 4.94 as you can see that's nice more than 3.00 Buy 28%, hold 50%, those two together, more than 75%. Uh, I bought a share um, on November 2nd, 2018. Last but not least is Barclays. Okay, five-year Barclays. As you can see, also downward trend bear market uh, it peaked at seventeen dollars and ninety eight cents uh, back in July 31st 2015 uh, the current market price is eight point two six uh, I bought a share at eight point nine five currently my equity in that in Barclays is eight point two six which I'm down sixty nine cents about Barclays PLC operates as a bank holding company that engages in the business of providing retail banking, credit cards, corporate and investment banking, and wealth management services. The company operates through two divisions, Barclays UK and Barclays International. The Barclays UK division comprises the UK retail banking operations, UK consumer credit cards business, UK wealth management business, and corporate banking for smaller businesses. The Barclays International Division comprises the corporate banking franchise, the international bank, the U.S. and international cards business, and international wealth management. Barclays was found on July 20th, 1896, and is headquartered in London, the United Kingdom. The current CEO is Jess Staley, employees 79,900, headquarters London, England. Founded in 1896, been around, market cap 36.29 billion, high cap, PE ratio 79.09, dividend yield 1.48, buy 61%, hold 30%, those two together more than 75%. As you can see, I bought a share on October 3rd, 2018 for, for 8.95. So there you have it. Those are the five primary dealers and the total investment for those five primary dealers comes out to $266.09. In conclusion, JP Morgan Chase, one share of JP Morgan Chase is 
$104.06, dividend yield 3.12. Citigroup, one share of Citigroup is $63.13, dividend yield 2.96. BNP Paribus, one share of BN, BNP Paribus is 42.15 euros, which is equivalent to $48 for one share. Dividend yield 7.16. That's high. Wow. HSBC, one share of HSBC is $42.46. Dividend yield 4.94. Last but not least is Barclays. One share of Barclays is 8.44. Dividend yield 1.48. Outro. Subscribe to the channel. Comment any questions or recommendations you have. Like if the information was inspiring for you and share this information with other global stock investors. While you're slaying dragons, I'll be taming them.